I'm going to review some of the landmarks on the hip bone. This is a right hip bone. This is the anterior portion. So we'll start here. This is the anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine, posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. Running superiorly from the ASIS to the PSIS is the iliac crest. What we have over here is the greater sciatic notch, the lesser sciatic notch, between the two is the ischial spine. This represents the ischium, so this surface is the ischial tuberosity. We have the ramus of the ischium. This region is the pubis. We have the superior ramus of the pubis and the inferior ramus of the pubis. This is the obturator foramen. Right here would be the pubic symphysis. We have the pubic tubercle pubic crest. Running along this rim here is the arcuate line and then it becomes the pectineal line and it forms the uh, iliopectineal line. This is the acetabulum. This crescent shaped surface which is the articular surface of the acetabulum is the lunate surface. It doesn't go all the way around. There's a little notch inferiorly. That's called the acetabular notch and this flows into the acetabular fossa. This is the um, iliac fossa. Over here we have the auricular surface and the iliac tuberosity. Then we have the gluteal lines. They're not easily visible on the models, but I'll show you approximately where they are. The anterior gluteal line runs from the superior aspect of the iliac crest just posterior to the ASIS and arcs around to around the apex of the greater sciatic notch. We have the posterior gluteal, gluteal line. It runs from the superior aspect of the iliac crest, just anterior to the PSIS, and descends to the PIIS. Posterior to that line is where the part of the gluteus maximus inserts between the posterior gluteal line and the anterior gluteal line is where the gluteus medius inserts. And then lastly, we have the inferior gluteal line, and it runs from the iliac, anterior iliac surface between, about halfway between the ASIS and the AIIS, and arcs around to the uh, greater sciatic notch. Between the inferior gluteal line and the anterior gluteal line, this is where the gluteus medius I'm sorry, the gluteus minimus attaches. You could see how we form the sacroiliac joint. That's the articulation between the auricular surface of the hip bone and the auricular surface of the sacrum. So right here, we forming, we have the right sacroiliac joint, just like this. And, and then lastly, we also have the hip joint, where the head of the femur articulates with the acetabulum. So this would be the right hip joint. 